we are all incredibly busy, we can very quickly find ourselves running out of time on a day to day basis. How do you make it so that every hour you spend is actually as valuable as say two hours? There are three very easy things that you can do in order to accomplish that. So the first thing I'm doing is taking the phone and putting it in a completely different room. If it's near me, I'm probably going to grab it. It's just a massive, massive waste of time checking YouTube analytics or podcast analytics, scrolling through social media, checking my email or whatever it might be, but constantly checking the status of things. So I figure if I just put it in a completely different room, then I won't have to worry about it. By simply putting your phone in another room, you actually give yourself the space where now you have to make a conscious choice. If you want your phone, you'll have to get up and go into the other room and get it. That little bit of extra work forces us to stop before we reach and think, do I actually want to do this or should I stay focused? Adding that choice gives you more room and reduces the amount of time that you'll spend mindlessly scrolling and mindlessly reaching for the phone. So the second thing that I'm gonna try and do here is to block access to those apps and tools that have historically been the biggest time wasters for me. So things like Facebook, my email, Instagram, any social media, YouTube, all of these platforms, it just ends up eating up the entirety of my day. So I'm gonna pull up the Block Site app, and I actually have a link to that in the description of this video, so be sure to click that and check it out. By using a simple tool to block access to it either in your browser or on your phone, you're actually going to once again add a moment where you have to think and consciously make a choice. Do I want to follow through with this or not? In that moment, you're more likely because you're in work mode, because you're trying to be focused and it's something you care about, you're more likely to stop yourself and say, hey, you know what? I don't want to do that today. I want to focus on what it is that I'm doing. So the last thing we want to set up here is a timer, especially when I'm struggling to stay focused. Now, I know this seems really basic, but I do this all the time. There's a technique called the Pomodoro that is essentially just a 25 minute stopwatch. Once it hits zero, you take a five minute break and then you repeat the whole thing. A Pomodoro is a very basic method of managing your time and helping you stay focused. A big reason why it works is that you can see the actual countdown as it's happening. And that little tick is just a reminder every single time it goes down that you need to stay focused, that your time is limited, that you're only able to work on this for a short window of time, and that you need to get as much done in that time as you can. Using Pomodoro's is especially helpful when you are struggling to stay focused and when you just need to get something done, but you're really not in the right mental space for it. Using a timer, whether it's a Pomodoro or your own clock, putting on a timer on your screen so that you can see it at all times can be massively, massively helpful. Now, these are just some very simple and basic ways to improve your productivity and most importantly, get more out of your time. By using very basic tools like this, you can actually make each hour you spend working worth more than it would have been otherwise, simply because you're not losing the five minutes grabbing your phone, you're not losing the five minutes logging into Facebook, and you're constantly reminded and uh, motivated to keep moving forward as that clock ticks away. It helps you to get more value for the time that you spend and therefore get more done when you have a limited period of time.